click the bell icon to turn on notifications. Hello everyone and welcome back to the course. In this module, I want to start to introduce you to the concept of tagging in OneNote. And we're going to start out with the most basic tag that you can add and probably one that you'll use most often. And that is the to do item tag. Now the to do item is great if you want to create like a to do checklist. So for example, for this project, Project Artemis, there are lots and lots of different tasks that need to occur before this project can go ahead. Anything from organizing which team members are going to be sent to the different locations to booking the training rooms, organizing flights and hotels, writing the training content, all of those different kinds of things. So in its most basic form, what you can do in OneNote is you can add a list of items or to-do items, utilize the to-do tag, and then check them off once they're done. So let's take a look at how this works. So I've created a new section called to-do list, and I've called this page to-do items. I'm going to click my mouse right at the top there. And on the home ribbon in this tags group, you'll see that I have a to-do tag. Now, what you also might notice is that to do also appears at the top of this tags list. And that's because it's probably one of the most popular ones you're going to use. Now, there is a keyboard shortcut to insert this particular tag of control plus one. And we haven't covered tags yet. You can see we have a lot of items in this big long list. We are going to go through some of these so you understand what they all do and how helpful they can be. For the time being, we're just going to concentrate on this first one. So let's click on to do and you'll see that it enters in a placeholder with a little checkbox and I can then type in my to do item. So assign team members to locations. If I hit the enter key, you can see I get another to do box. Hit enter again, I get another one, so on and so forth. And I could carry on going, adding my different to do items. And that's pretty much all it is. It's a very simple little utility, but it just allows you to keep track of the things that you need to do. And once they're done, you can just click in the box to tick those off. Now you can make some very minimal modifications to how these to do boxes look. So if I right click my mouse, you can see I have options to uncheck the box. I can also remove the tag entirely. I'm going to talk to you about find tags a bit later on, but the one I want to go into is customize tags. So I'm going to select the to do tag at the top and I'm going to say modify tag. So if I wanted to, I could change the display name of this particular tag, but I can also do things like change the symbol, the font color and the highlight color. So you have some limited customization options. So for example, if I click the symbol drop down, you can see I can change to any of these symbols. Now, I actually like having a checkbox, but it might be that I want something that looks a little bit different. Maybe this green star checkbox. And you can see in the preview below what that's going to look like. It might be that I want to change the font color. So let's change that to a dark green color. And if I wanted to, I could add a highlight. Now, I don't particularly want that. I'm going to say none. And one important thing to know is it says underneath customizations do not affect notes you've already tagged. So if I click on OK and OK again, you can see that the checkboxes I've already added aren't affected. So I'm not getting that updated formatting. But if I was to click somewhere else and then select to do from tags, I'm going to get that new style. But of course, if I did have quite a long to do list and I wanted to change the formatting, I could just select the current tags, jump up to my tags group and click the newly formatted to do tag. And that's going to replace all of those. Now there's a whole heap of other things that you can do with tags, including the to do tag, which I'm going to show you a bit later on because we have a whole module dedicated to exploring all of the tags that you can see in here and using them in a meaningful way. But for now, that's how you create a very simple to do list with checkboxes. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get four free courses in Excel, QuickBooks, Microsoft Project, and Photoshop, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.